With the first game, I knew we wasn't ready, uh, ready to play because all the girls are new. Uh, it's a difference between moving from middle school to high school, and and we had to put all the defense in, and saw a collapse on defense. But this time, they showed a little bit better on defense. So this game was an improvement. Now we had to work on trying to get to the basket and finish it. We're getting there, but we're not finishing it. So there's a lot of more little things that we had to work on to improve. Talk about uh, Bryant. She played a pretty tough game, uh, you know, effort-wise. Uh, what, 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 what improvements or what can she uh, work to, to get better? Well, right now she's been having a lot of problems cramping up. She's not moving laterally like she should. Matter of fact, she's uh, supposed to start with a the therapist uh, next week and trying to relax her muscles and everything. Other than that, only thing Bryant needs to do, she just needs to finish. She has to learn how to finish once she gets up, open layup or make contact and just be a leader. I mean, right now she's just a sophomore. She's still in the learning stages, just like the other ones. But once she over, you know, overcome her weakness as far as not being able to take contact and play basketball, she's going to be pretty good. Tell us about her night now. She played, she played a little gritty out there tonight. Yeah, she has, a, she has an injury, injured hand. I hate to keep saying all these excuses and everything, but that's, what, that's what's going on. She transferred in from Kip. She played at Kip a little bit last year. She's a sophomore, and she has she has a lot of talent. And I think that she's going to do well this year. And uh, hopefully, once her hand you know get killed and everything, I think she's going to be she could be somebody to watch. Right now, she's playing a little timid, but we're going to get there. What uh, are you telling the girls in the practice? What you know as far as chemistry and, and just overall uh, connectivity? What are you sharing with them so that they can grow together? Well, right now, first, you got to love each other as a family. And once I talk to one person, if the person's name is Anaya I'm talking to, everybody on that team name Anaya. That means that you don't be looking off in the bleachers or what's going on with her. Because the mistake that she made, everybody's making that same mistake. So it's just a refresher course for them. Right now, we're trying to grow together and paying attention to the tight offense that we run. You don't have time to wave at grandma in the, in the stand or friends and everything. You got to stay focused because it's a lot of movement. And it's like a bicycle chain. There's no eye in basketball. Uh, like you just take over the whole team, one person. It, everybody has to be in place. If one person out of place, it doesn't work. I believe you got Southwest Edge going. Is that the your next on the ballot? Right, we got Southwest this coming uh, Friday night at Southwest. And uh, like I said, it's going to be a tough game, but I like games like that because it makes us better. We're not playing. And what I did, I did a little survey through the whole conference and everything. And we're not the only one getting punished or not scoring a lot of points. But we're right at the same level, you know, with the exception of Weldon. You know, they got their whole team back and, you know, maybe one, I think one is missing. But other than that, uh, Kip and Northwest, uh, Rocky Mount Prep, even, even our new friend, Wilson Prep, they're three and one right now, and I just looked at their record, and, and I looked at the team they played, and they beat some team. But once they played, uh, I think it was North Lenore, I think their school saw like 62 to 18. So it makes it, I think we all right there together to grow together and everything. So it's gonna be an interesting comp. But as long as my guys, girls, uh, just improve, we improve from 15 points to 22 points tonight, and hopefully Friday night we can get in at 30 or 40. That's improvement. As long as we're not going backwards, I'm satisfied with them.